here's 24. I think this one had cornoid lamellae in them. Um, I could be wrong. You got it. Yeah, porokeratosis. Let's see where the um, best cornoid lamella is. There's a bunch of them, actually. Yeah, so this one's more acanthotic and uh -huh. honestly kind of crazy. So porokeratosis, but maybe the ticotrophica. Yeah, form. that's exactly what I would think about here because there's multiple cornoid lamellae. None of them are exactly perfect cornoid lamellae. So like this is the beginning of one. Here's one here, though. You've got a stack of para that's kind of leaning. It's not straight up. Underneath, you have some little um, dying keratinocytes right here. And you tend to have some little vacuolation or clear cell change. So that's how if I see a stack of para to make sure that I, it's a corneal lamella, I like to see some, some dying keratinocytes and vacuolation underneath. And yes, when I have an acanthotic lesion with multiple corneal lamellae in it, particularly if it's like in the buttock uh, region, uh, porokeratosis tychotropica is kind of a fancy uh, subtype of poro where you get that acanthosis and multiple um, kind of irregular corneal lamellae. Um, in it. So here's here's another corneal lamella. Here's kind of a tangled mess of them right here. Very good. So that's what I would call this too, is a, a porokeratosis. And in the right context, I'd raise the possibility of uh, porokeratosis tychotropica.